Hey, we are now flying in DCS in my favorite airplane, the Spitfire in virtual reality. And one thing that annoyed me a lot when it comes to full fidelity airplanes is that I can't assign everything to my HOTAS. So at times I have to grab the mouse and I would have to click on buttons within the cockpit. Let's say, for example, if I wanted to check my fuel. But I have discovered something new, and that is, well, hello, hand tracking. With the Quest 2 at least. I am not sure if this works for any other headsets, but right now, if I'm flying, I can just quickly go down here, pinch my index finger, and uh, check my fuel level. And then just put my hand back on the throttle, without releasing the joystick, and you will see that after a few seconds, my hand will disappear as well, so it won't obstruct my view. Or let's say, okay, I'm going in for a landing. I don't have the, uh, I don't have the uh, buttons assigned for for landing or for putting the flaps down. Well, grabbing my hand here, pinching my index finger, putting the flaps down. There we go. And after a few seconds again, the hand disappears. Oh shit! I don't want to land. Up. Let's put it back up. There we go. Works absolutely fantastic. I have to say. Um, I'm not sure how this would work in. Uh, in somewhat more modern planes. I haven't tested that yet, but it's super handy. Gun side up, gun side down. There we go. Fantastic. Not only that, I mean, if I pinch my uh, uh, index finger, it's uh, the left is a left click. It re emulates a left click. If I pinch my middle finger, it's the right finger or uh, right click. I'm sorry, right click. But we can also, for example, if I... I hope that I won't crash. Uh, maybe I can better... Wait a second. How can I do this? Mm, hold on. Let me just... Uh, let me just... Hold on one second. Okay, so we are now back and safe on the ground. I can show you a little bit uh, better what I, uh, what I want to show you. Uh, not only can I left-click. There you see. I can also, when I pinch my... Um, what is it? My pinky finger. Oh, is it the other one? Maybe. Ah, there you go. You see, I can dial switches. So I can open this. There you go. Primer. And I can also close it again by pinching my uh, small finger. I don't have the correct English words for the fingers. Uh, so yeah, for example, trimming. Elevator trim. There you go. Also a way to a good faster like this, or the other way around. But this, of course, you have assigned to your HOTAS. But it's really cool that I don't have to use the mouse anymore, especially for the cold start. Like, I want to open the primer again. Uh, I can just do it like this. I'm not sure if it's closed or... There we go. Close it again. Or open it, whatever. And I can do a full cold start right now by just using my hands. And I don't have to use the mouse anymore. Especially, uh, what I don't like is if you are in flight and then uh, you have to, to release the hand from the joystick, grab the mouse and then do certain stuff and then uh, uh, grabbing the joystick again. I think it's, it's, it's pretty cool, especially, and I'm really repetitive right now, but I'm just super excited for this is that uh, the hands just disappear after I do nothing. So a few seconds here and it's gone. I wave and it's back. Fantastic. Okay, so I will now show you how you can download this and install this for the Quest 2. Okay, so step one. First, you have to go to this page. It's the hand tracked cockpit clicking by Fredamot. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And you have to start downloading HTCC v 0.1.2msi Doesn't matter where you install this, just download it and extract it and install it. Once you have installed that and opened it, this is uh, what you will see. I haven't changed anything about this, by the way. It was uh, good from the get-go, so just leave it as it is. Now, step two is you need the Open Composite Runtime Switcher, OpenXR. This tool uh, lets you switch from Steam VR to um, Open Composite, and that's what you would need for the hand tracking to be uh, enabled in DCS. So whenever you have installed this, 
click on switch to open composite. For step three, you go to the Oculus app on your computer, you click settings, you click on beta, and then you enable the developer runtime features. Now for step four is that you need Skatezilla's DCS updater. If you type that in Google, um, you can easily find it. But again, all the links are in the description of this video. Once you have opened that tool, I will enlarge it over here. Oh, that doesn't do much. Um, you uh, click uh, all the way on the right side to on app settings. And here you have to select the DCS folder path and the saved games folder path. And then it will recognize it. And if you have the correct folders selected, it will show green lights over here. Very important here. It's kind of strange here. But uh, you would have to set the VR interface settings to Steam VR API. Not the Oculus Rift API. Steam VR uh, API. And then on the top left, you select the build. Slot 1. So that's the, the ones you have uh, selected over here where you selected the path. And then you just click on VR on and that's it. And that should just um, enable the uh, the hand tracking within DCS. Now, if you have any questions, uh, you can type them here in the comments down below. I will try to help you. If you need more help, then you can always join the Discord where uh, I or other members of the community uh, are always uh, happy to help you out. That was it for today. Just a quick video. Uh, I don't usually make these kinds of videos where I show my face. But um, yeah, I was so surprised and so happy with this. Even though it's like the early stages of, um, of, this, of this hand tracking tool. I don't even know when it got released. I just found it out right now and I could not find much footage of it. So I decided to make a quick video. As always, if you want to keep up to date with the latest PC VR updates, subscribe to my channel. And um, I hope to see you uh, in the next video. Ciao, ciao.